274 co-main event guys, Rose Namajunas versus Carla Esparza. Two, will history repeat itself here with Carla winning again? Tough call, but we'll see. But before we get into it guys, this video is sponsored by Full Reptile Collective, brought to you by Dan Hardy. Head over to their website at fullreptile.co.uk where you can find anything from training gear, t-shirts, hoodies, all the way to coffee. For an exclusive 10% off, use Dan Said So at checkout. Make sure to also check out their YouTube channel for some of the best MMA content out there, bar my own. Let's get back to the video. All right guys, let's start with Rose because Rose is a very special athlete. She has come a long way from being that very shy lady to then shaving a head rose, to then thug rose, to then winning the belt, losing the belt to Andrade by getting slammed on her neck from trying to get Kimura and Jessica Andrade, defending the Kimura with a slam, which is ridiculous and also breathtaking at the same time, to then bouncing back to beating Andrade in a very tough fight, two wins over Wei Li Zhang. That is damn impressive. The movement Rose possesses with the hands and the technical ability. Now, her technical striking is phenomenal. We all know she can grapple. Earlier in her career, chokes for days. She's beautiful at grappling. Trevor Whitman has made her mind a fortress. Pat Barry has obviously made her mind a lunatic asylum with the way he, he goes about things. The perfect combination, it seems to be, for Rose. She seems like she's in a very good place, which is... Where I think all her strengths lie, we know she's got the ability. It's all mental for Rose, I think, at this stage. The last time these girls fought, Carla Esparza did get the finish. Rose number units, I think, had three fights at the time. And I think Cookie Monster had about 11 or 12. That is the level we're dealing with here. That was the ultimate fighter. Now we've got, she's the best in the world. She's proven she's the best in the world. Carla Esparza is going to have one of the toughest fights of her damn life. So since the Tatiana Suarez lost, Carlos Barza has been damn impressive, beating Waterson, Grasso, Marina Rodriguez was in that list. Yan Zhao Nan stopped her as well, which was, that's the, that's the pudding right there. That's the, oh, the cherry on top. Finishing Yan Zhao Nan is, oh, that is impressive. She has fully deserved this. This is a wrestler versus a striker. Carla Barza's hands and her forward pressure have improved dramatically, especially to the time she's been stopped. Calling out Joanna. Rose Nami Eunice's movement and hands has improved significantly from being known as the grappler. This to me now is a striker versus a grappler matchup. But it's not as simple as that because Rose is not that easy to take down anymore. She's not easy to hold down if you can get her down. She has excellent takedowns herself. See Wei Li Zhang round five. She'll set her up against the cage and she'll land the uppercut. But I don't think it's going to be that simple for Carla. I think Carla, she knows what she's got to do. She's got to make forward pressure. She's got to make Rose miss. She's got to back her into one of those sections of the octagon to grab her legs. Grab that double, power double, drive her to the floor. Not only hold her down, she's got to do some damage. Because if you just hold someone down in a title fight these days, you're not guaranteed the round. Carla Esparza has a very Bilal Muhammad approach to a fight to me, which is, she's a fighter, don't get me wrong, but she treats it as a sport. She knows how to win a round, and I think that is so important with the sport, especially in title fights, because so many of these fights are, oh, they didn't do anything, oh, they're going to complain about, oh, it's robbery, whatever. They know how to win a round, they know the rules. They're not just trying to fight you, they're trying to win a round. They've got a different game plan to you, and I think Carla Esparza's game plan is going to be win individual rounds, not an entire fight. The fight will come when she's won those sections of her game plan. Rose Namajunas, I don't think that's going to be her game plan. I think her game plan is going to be, Trevor, focus on you, you do you. Dance around her, use your beautiful footwork, use that jab, use that stiff uppercut when they get into the pocket. When they close that distance, grab the clinch, go for your own takedown, mix it up, make Carla be worried. There's going to be a lot of game plans here where you're just going to be worried about the wrestler taking you down. And if that's all you're worried about, you're going to be shy to fire. I don't think Rose is going to have that problem. I think having Trevor in your corner, I think, is almost a cheat code. I think it's like having an extra set of hands to punch someone with. It's such an advantage here. I think this is a giant step up for Carla Esparza from where these ladies have both come. Both well, one champion, but Carla obviously ex-champion. I've got a back Rose number units in this. I don't see many ways that Carla can win, and the one way she can win, I don't see her doing it over 25 minutes. I definitely think she can win a round or two. 
but I do not think she can beat Rose over 25 minutes. I think Rose is just so damn good. Yeah. Rose number Yunus for me, guys. Let us know in the comments who you've got. Like the video if you have enjoyed it, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and enjoy the fights. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers all.